Right. So you print out a copy of Fiona's account. Then you let her see you delete it from your laptop. Why? So she thinks that you're sticking to the plan. Then I should be on a train to Galway as well. Yeah, why? Well, I'm gonna have to find some excuse for that one. I don't know, say you uh, had to postpone it for a while. She might not buy it. Yeah, well, it's up to you to make her. Hey, morning. What are you two whispering about? <laughs> no, at all. Just saying we need to do some advertising for Valentine's Day so we get some bookings, you know? And I was saying it was a good idea. Oh, so you're involved in marketing now, are you? Just an opinion. Yeah, let's talk about it later, Tony. Yeah. By the way, where's Ruth? She's gonna be late. She's still upstairs, doing her hair in the bathroom. Ruth, come on! I, uh, fed ahead. Have you started work on the Tony's website yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make the call. Did you, uh, did you speak to Huey? Yes, and I gave you a glowing reference. Oh. I told him the app was a sure thing, so the rest is up to you now. Oh, nice one. I'll, uh, I'll find him later. OK, but you will get on to this web guy. I'll make the call. It'll take a few days, anyway. Well, can you not have it done by Friday? It's just that it's only three weeks to the big night and people need to vote. Don't worry. I'll get things moving. I'll see you later. OK. Hi, you. Hey, you. How are you? How's Junior? Being very brave. Look, I'm sorry about it today. I was out of line, you know, bossing around, buying a collar drops that you probably didn't even need. It's sorry. Right. No, it's not. I know what it's like when people poke their noses in. I remember once when Junior was a baby, um, he was crying and this woman stopped me and said that he was probably hungry and I should feed him. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. That's all. See ya. Bye. Yeah. I'm ordering decorations for the restaurant for Valentine's. If we want to sell it as a big night, we'd better not disappoint. Do you want to see? No. Oh, all back on the enthusiasm there. Yeah, well, a few nights will do it. Well, we better make an effort. We have decorations for last year, don't we? Oh, I thought you were into this. This was your idea, wasn't it? Yeah, to get bookings, not to buy stuff we don't need. All right, so, so I'm just wasting my time then, am I? I'll put a post up the window, you know? That's all we need. Sorry. Hi. Was acting strange. What do you mean? Well, he said he's got a head cold, but I don't believe him. Now he won't even discuss Valentine's decorations with me. Probably having a bad day. Yeah. There's something wrong. I can feel it. What if he knows? How could he? Has he said anything to you? No. Well, remember, we're in this together. Relax. Everything's fine. How are you, Lily? Hey, here, you can take my seat. <clears throat> Listen, I don't mean to keep hassling you. Good. All right. It's just. Well, here we go. Is there anyone else I can ask about the picture? Like old school friends or neighbours? What is it with you? I only need a name. Sorry, I can't help you. <sighs> What's the problem? It's only a party. Well, maybe it's more than that. All right, so you're lying to me so you can get information out of me. I just, I need to know who the people in the photo are. I don't have a clue who they are. See, I don't believe you. I don't care whether you do or not. Now, the best thing you can do is throw that thing away and forget about it, all right? It's all I've got. What? Your, your, your auntie's birthday party? I'm sure there's other people that she could invite. Wait, look, I know you're not being straight with me, right? Now, I don't want an explanation, but I don't want any part of this. Jerry's not my auntie. All right. She's my mother. Yeah, I'll tell her. I love her. The doctor walked in, so he had to go. He said he'd call you again in a bit. I better leave. No, he said there's no need. It's a routine check, and Junior is managing fine. Wayne wants you to have a break. So hard watching Junior go through all this. 
She'll be home soon. And before you know it, he'll be a strapping young man giving you all kinds of trouble. <sighs> Bring it on. So what are kids for? <sighs> hey. Did I show you these? Olivia. She's gonna be a heartbreaker, isn't she? I thought you were going to show me a picture of Junior. Oh, lying in the hospital bed. It's hardly one for the photo album. <laughs> she is the image of Junior when he was a baby. There's a slight resemblance, I suppose, yeah. What? How can you not see that? <laughs> I want to know whom he does. Jar won't tell you. She has amnesia about that part of her life. Maybe she doesn't remember. Unlikely. So she's lying to you? Maybe she's good reason. Is that why you won't tell me what you know? You don't want me to find out something? Carol, I can handle it. I reckon. Well, what difference does it make to you, anyway? I'm not prying into your life, am oh, I? Really? Is that why you've been running around waving that photograph in my face? It's all I've got. I only want to know about Jer. You must give it to me. <sighs> you might regret it. Don't mind me. That girl beside Jer, that's Siobhan Ward. She was mixed up with a bad crowd. You think my dad was part of that crowd? I don't know. Maybe. So he was a criminal. Probably. Can't say I'm surprised. Do you know the men in the photo? They're mates, me dad. Trigger. Your dad? Yeah. He wasn't a nice people. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Trigger liked to keep his friends happy, you know? Provide the entertainment. Well, what does that mean? Well, they weren't in a band, Haley. Used to line up the girls. Maybe Siobhan was caught up in them. So Jay could have been. Maybe. She could have been one of the girls. Well, it wouldn't have been her fault. They were forced to do it. And they were threatened or beaten not to talk. Look, I warned you. But you don't know for certain that it happened to Jer. No. But my advice is that I would forget about that picture. I don't care. I still have to know. And you're going to bring all that back to Jer's door? If she won't tell me who me dad is, what choice do I have? Leave it alone. That's your choice. From where I'm sitting, you have a dad. Anto. Don't hang on to this. It doesn't mean anything. You knew what your dad was talking about then. There's nothing I could do about it. It was just a kid. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be asking. No, you shouldn't. I can make a few calls if you want. But I would think about it. Olivia's having a nap. It'll probably last all of five minutes. So. Oh, the state of the place. Sorry about the mess. And so it should be. Any time you have to yourself should be spent resting. I've given up at this stage. Do you want a cup of tea? Uh, I'll do it. You sit down. Thanks. Orla was showing me some pictures earlier of Olivia. She's adorable. I know. She's a little charmer. And everyone's been amazing. You're not really making a fuss of her. Orla's certainly taken with her. Don't remind me. I seen her today. We're fine again. I know I overreacted on Sunday. She's been really good to us. I think you were right in a way. She might be spending too much time with Olivia. I said that to her. Did you? Well, yeah. She must be exhausted. With Junior in the hospital and on top of that helping me out. Yeah, that's what I mean. She might be overdoing it. <laughs> well, don't worry. The next time she offers, I'll say no. And I'll stick to it. You know, we don't want to get him bored now. <laughs> <laughs>
What's all this? Well, I've been a miserable git the past few days and I just wanted to make it up to you. Well, this is all very lovely. I'd rather you were honest with me. What do you mean? <laughs> a bit grumpy, that's all. You've been unbearable and mean. Oh, I haven't. You've hardly said a word to me the last few days. No, that's not true. You don't want to have breakfast with me. You won't let me help out with Vino's. And as for the bedroom, I may as well be sleeping on my own. I told you, I've been sick. Come here to me. I'm mad about you. How many times do I have to tell you that? Well, after this morning and the weekend, a few more, I think. Well, actually, I might be able to do a bit better than that. Oh, really? What did you have in mind? Some chocolates, a few flowers. Well, that could be part of it, yeah. yeah. A man only ever showers a woman with gifts when he's feeling guilty. Will you stop talking? I'm going to ask you something if you just shut up for two seconds. Oh, fine. OK. <clears throat> We're in this for the long haul, yeah? Well, supposedly. Not supposedly, definitely. This is it now, you and me, moving on, you know, building a future together. Well, that was the plan. It still is the plan. And so what then? Well, now that you're being so stroppy... You can talk. Well, look, I told you. I, I, I had a head cold at the weekend. And, and you know what a pain in that game when I'm sick? And I didn't want to talk about Valentine's because I had a, a surprise planned. Oh, please. But seeing as you've been throwing your toys at a pram... I have not. I've had to push the surprise forward. You know what? You're not making any sense. Oh, hold on, hold on. Look, darling, please. This wasn't how I imagined it to be, but... <clears throat> Here it goes. Fiona, will you marry me? I didn't mean to freak out. That's a very big question. I want you to be my wife. And that's where I see this going. You don't think it's moving too fast? Well, we're not getting any younger. And we need to move on with things, you know, make plans. Plus, there are some nice tax breaks. I love you, darling. And I'm pretty certain you feel the same way about me. Oh, are you now? So what's stopping us? It's a huge step. You don't just ask someone out of the blue. Well, that's exactly what you do. That's why it's called a proposal. I want to, want to make things official between us. So, I'll ask you again. Will you marry me? OK. OK, that, that's it. Sorry. Yes. I mean, yes, I'll marry you. What's the occasion? Um, well, Paul just asked me to marry him. And I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me a room for her money, though. Yes, but I surrendered in the end. Congratulations. Thank you. But hey, Ruth is not yet so uh, keep to yourself. Yeah. Oh, my God, she's going to make such a lovely flower, girl. Mm. Ah, OK, so have a drink with us. <laughs> <laughs> we have vouchers from the Hungry Pig and Dino's and that Italian place be the school. Feelers have given us a hamper and, and the salon have thrown in some treatments. Oh, this is great. <laughs> and I'm still working on it. Oh. Uh, is there anything the laundrette can contribute? Wash your duvet for free? I suppose. Well, it's not very glamorous. No. Uh, Maybe Huey could give us a couple of nights in the pod yeah. or something. Oh, hey, hey, Lee. Yeah, I'll call you back. You all right? Yeah, listen, uh, Cass has already got a list of prizes for the raffle. We should be getting them up online. Sounds good. People have been very generous. Oh, well, it's more than that, Cass. When you say you're going to do something, you do it. Oh, that's one of my many talents. You should take some lessons. I'm always happy to pass on my knowledge. Look, I should get on with this. See you, Cass. You should take him up on that. What is your problem? Have you even spoken to this tech guy? Yeah, me? he hasn't got back to me yet. 
Ah, you know what? Forget wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Do you want the website looked at or not? Just because I talked you up to Huey doesn't mean I can't talk you down. You, things don't happen that quickly in the IT world, Jane. My people are busy. Well, I don't want to be fobbed off. What do you want, proof? Davy Green, web designer. Call him now, then. Hi. Uh, right. And if he doesn't do this for free, then we've got a problem. Hey, Davy. Yeah, it's, it's Lee. Listen, about that website, man, it, it shouldn't take too long at all. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, I'll send you on the links later. I uh, forget I said anything. I was just trying to get someone out of my case. How are you, man? What are you working on? Hey. So, uh, Dolores was here earlier. Oh, here, can I have a little hold? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Olivia. Oh, look at you. Uh, she was saying it's hard going at the hospital. Yeah, well, you know, I'm getting through it. We need to manage to get a bit of work in over the weekend. You know, you need to rest when you can, though. Yeah, well, I told you. I am a useless daytime napper. Not like this little munchkin. Hello. Dolores <laughs> thinks she might be overdoing it. What, she said that? Oh, she's just worried about you. No, well, no, don't, don't listen to her. I mean, she thinks everybody should get at least eight hours sleep. I mean, who does that? Oh, are you OK, Pet? I don't want to be the reason you end up collapsing or something. I'm not going to collapse. No, I, you know what I mean. Listen, when I... When I try to doze off, I mean, oh, all I can think about is worst-case scenarios, like what if the treatment doesn't work? Well, don't. There's no reason why it shouldn't. I mean, that's what all this has been about. Yeah, exactly. So then, <laughs> I don't need to get a rest, do I? I mean, I'm OK. I just want to help. I just want to help. Yes, I do. Hey, guys. All right. I just got a call from a travel agent. They want to donate a price. Oh, this smile goes a long way. <laughs> Good on you, Cass. All right. All right. How's the train going? Oh, yeah. Put me through my paces. <laughs> yeah, I might be on to you myself. Could uh, do a bit of personal training. One athlete at a time, please. Be opening your own boot camp soon, Cass. Actually, that's one of the raffle prizes. Get fit with Cass. Put me down for some tickets. Maybe you can give Lee a few pointers. In what? I'm not doing an Ironman. I have to deliver on a promise, you know, that kind of thing. First rule of success, set targets. Oh, Cass could be your mentor. If I wanted advice, I wouldn't ask Cass, would I? I mean, I'd get more sense out of a talking monkey. Lee! Oh, you mean, there's no need for that. <sighs> Sorry, Cass. Don't mind them. Orla? Yeah, Lee. Hello. Hello. You won't be able to keep it quiet. Yeah, well, let me worry about that. What's the plan then? Dump her at the altar. <laughs> you know what? Uh, it's not a bad idea. If I'd have known you were going to do this, I'd have sorted it out some other way. It's hard to shake the old guilt bar, isn't it? She deserves everything that's coming to her. She said yes. What does that tell you? That she's not as smart as she thinks she is. This isn't going to end well for either of you. Oh, no. I begin the last laugh on this. I don't want any part of it. I'm not hanging around to watch you destroy someone. Oh, Barry, you're going to have to hang around. <sighs> because you ripped me off too, remember? So think about this as a uh, payback. Come on, Barry. What do you think was going to happen, really? That you were going to sail off the go away, start a new life for yourself? In the meantime, leave me here to pick up the pieces of the mess that you made. <laughs> oh, and by the way, this could, uh, this could take some time. So I wouldn't go buying any train tickets just yet.
Olivia wouldn't settle, so I just brought her out for a quick walk. You never said you were taking her out. Yeah, well, it's only gone 20 minutes. You should have woken me up. I need to feed her. She's asleep now. I am full of milk. You can't just take her out. We're in a routine. What are you doing here? I'm helping out. Did she call you? No. I was looking for you, but you weren't picking up your phone. Yeah, I was singing to Olivia. I wasn't heard it. Why are you here? Is, uh, is, is Junior okay? Yes. But Wayne needs to take a rest. So we'd better get going. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll just say goodbye. Um, we're off now. Yeah, take care. You'll have to say sorry to Cass. Yeah, yeah, I will. You know, people around here really rail. You don't want everyone hating you. I said it, sorry. What's wrong with you anyway? Nothing. It's Jane. You didn't ask her to invest in something, did you? No, sir, she hasn't any cash. Just keep away from the locals, Ori. And what's that supposed to mean? Just asking for money, it's too risky. And why is that? You know why. No, I want to hear you say it. In case you lose it. <laughs> Look, your track record's not great. Yeah, well, it's nice to know what you really think. Look, do the deals, get the money, just not off people that live on the same street, all right? Oh, what's the occasion? Oh. Does it have to be one? <laughs> like 30 euros a bottle, it normally is, yeah. <laughs> well, since you've asked. I've sold some shares I had in an IT company. Huh? All right, for some? Yes, Paul got very lucky. Congratulations. Thank Thanks. you. Cheers. We will have to tell people soon. Yeah, well, not till Rude knows first, yeah. Okay, so we'll bring her out to dinner after school tomorrow and tell you then. Yeah, but wouldn't it be better to tie down some details with the wedding for us? You know, where, when, that sort of thing? Well, I'm thinking Italy. Florence, maybe? Mm. I like the sound of that. Mm. <laughs> um, if that offer still stands, I'll take you up on that. You're not still trying to track down those men. Carol told you what they were like. No, I... Me and your help arranging the party. Yeah, she wants to borrow me cash and carry card. It's very good of you to do this for your auntie's birthday. Yeah. Don't forget, it's a surprise. Yeah. I have an early start. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see, see you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. I might know where Seamus is. Seamus? Well, he was around back then, so he might know who the men in the picture are. I, uh, want to intrude. Congratulations again. Well, you might as well join us. You're the only other person that knows at the moment. Well, yeah. Uh, I'd be honoured. Yeah, here, sure. Come on. Let me get you a glass. She doesn't suspect a thing. So you keep this up, and you never know. I might ask you to be my best man. <laughs> Imagine that. Huh? You must be very excited, are you? It's all right. Do you want to tell me about the engagement? Yeah, of course. I better get back. You see, some people are suggesting that this famous friend of yours may be imaginary. Lee, you mean? You say you owe me. Answer a few questions for her, will you? Yeah, I don't look like a cop. I'm not. I thought you were way too old to be dressed up as a princess. I am not a princess. I am a flower girl for your wedding.